In this lecture, we will solve one problem based on voltage divider biasing. In this problem, we need to calculate six parameters that you can see on your screen. The base current is already given in the problem and it is equal to 20 microamps. The base current IB is equal to 20 microamps. Resistance RC is equal to 2.7 kilo ohms. Resistance RC is equal to 2.7 kilo ohms. Potential at this point, that is the collector terminal, is equal to 10.6 volts. VC is equal to 10.6 volts. Beta is equal to 100. The amplification factor or the current gain is equal to 100 for this transistor. Resistance R2 is equal to 6.8 kilo ohms. Resistance R2 is equal to 6.8 kilo ohms. And resistance RE is equal to 1.2 kilo ohms. The emitter resistance is equal to 1.2 kilo ohms. So these are the parameters given to us. And now we will solve the A part of the problem in which we have to calculate the collector current. But first I will draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. VTH is the Thevenin's voltage and it is equal to VCC R2 divided by R1 plus R2. RTH is the Thevenin's resistance and it is equal to R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. And you can see load is connected in series with RTH. So this is the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. And now we will solve the A part of the problem in which we have to calculate the collector current. Collector current IC is equal to beta times IB. Beta is equal to 100 and IB, the base current, is equal to 20 microamps. So we have 100 multiplied with 20 microamps. 20 microamps is 20 multiplied with 10 raised to power minus 6 amps. So the collector current IC is equal to 2 milliamps. This is the answer of the A part. Now we will solve the C part of the problem in which we have to calculate VCC. And to calculate VCC, I will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop. So we have VCC minus current through this resistance is equal to IC and we have already calculated IC. So the drop is IC RC equal to 10.6 volts. So we have VCC equal to 2 milliamps, 2 milliamps and RC is equal to 2.7 kilo ohms, 2.7 kilo ohms plus 10.6 volts. And when you solve this, you will have the biasing voltage VCC equal to 16 volts. So this is the answer of the C part. And now we will solve the B part of the problem. In B part, we need to calculate potential at the ammeter terminal. And we already know the ammeter current IE is equal to IC plus IB. IB is very small current. So the ammeter current is nearly equal to the collector current. If you want to calculate the accurate value of the ammeter current, follow this equation. And when you follow this equation, you have 2 milliamps plus 20 microamps, or we can say 2 milliamps plus 0 0.02 milliamps. So finally, the ammeter current IE is equal to, is equal to 2.02 .02 milliamps. And if you follow this, you have ammeter current IE equal to 2 milliamps. And if you compare the ammeter current in the two cases, you will find the difference. The difference is equal to 0 0.02 milliamps, which is very small. So you can consider the ammeter current nearly equal to the collector current. Now we will find out VE. For this, I will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop. So we have VE minus drop across this resistance, which is equal to IE. RE equal to 0. So VE is simply equal to IE RE. IE is equal to 2.02 .02 milliamps. I will calculate the value of VE for both these conditions. So first we will take 2.02 .02 milliamps as the value of ammeter current. 
so we have 2.02 milliamps multiplied with resistance re which is equal to 1.2 kilo ohms 1.2 kilo ohms when you perform the multiplication you will have ve ve equal to 2.424 volts so this is the answer of the b part and if you consider the ammeter current ie equal to 2 milliamps you will have you will have ve equal to 2.4 volts so the difference difference in ve considering the first case and the second case is equal to 0.024 volts which is very small now we will move to the d part in d part we have to calculate the output voltage vce vce is equal to vc minus ve vc is equal to 10.6 volts 10.6 volts and ve we have calculated which is equal to 2.424 volts 2.424 volts so vce is equal to 8.176 volts this is the answer of the d part now we will solve the E part of the problem in which we have to calculate VB potential at point B or the base terminal for this I will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop or we can simply use VBE equal to VB minus VE VB we have to find and VBE is equal to 0 0.7 volts VE is equal to 2.424 volts so VB is equal to 3.124 volts this is the answer of the E part now we will calculate the last part of the problem in which we have to find out the resistance R1 the resistance R1 is this resistance and for this we will use the Thevenin's equivalent circuit as I have already told you the base current is very small so the drop across this resistance is also very small so we can say that VTH is nearly equal to VB the Thevenin's voltage is nearly equal to VB because drop is very small across resistance RTH I am calling VTH I am calling VTH voltage but it is not voltage it is potential at point we usually call VTH as Thevenin's voltage that's why I am calling it voltage but it is actually the potential at this point which is equal to potential at the base terminal and by using this we can easily calculate the resistance R1 because we know VTH is equal to VCC R2 divided by R1 plus R2 we know VCC VCC is equal to 16 volts VCC is equal to 16 volts R2 is equal to 6.8 kilo ohms so we have R2 equal to 6.8 kilo ohms VTH is nearly equal to VB and VB is equal to 3.124 volts we have just calculated the value of VB it is equal to 3.124 volts the only thing left is R1 so by solving this we can easily calculate the value of R1 which is equal to 28 kilo ohms so this is the answer this is the answer of the F part and this is all for this lecture. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.